Hello and welcome Aquarius to your weekly reading. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and welcome to my channel if you are new. So we're going to be taking a look at the week ahead with these cards. I'm going to call in the angels, spirit and source energy and we'll see what messages come through. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how spirit speaks directly to you. If you see a sign, a symbol, a message on one or several of the cards, take notice of that because it is spirit speaking directly to your situation and your heart. So let's take these first two cards and we'll see what they say. So we have manifesting miracles. Beautiful. So a miracle is going to manifest for you. It will happen. It will happen. Now, a miracle is something that you don't expect to use usually. So you're not going to expect this energy to fall upon you this week. Um, maybe you're after a manifestation, you have a desire or there's a need that you're wanting to be fulfilled. Um, it's really going to come through in a real way, a true way. And um, there's a great blessing here for you. It might not come in the way that you're expecting it to, but it will come through in a powerful, strong and beautiful way. Uh, a perfect way for you. Thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. And that's the uh, affirmation here if you want to use that. But I do feel that, yeah, there's going to be a miracle landing in your world, in your life over the next seven days or so. Now we have a miracle of forgiveness here. So forgiveness might be needed, maybe forgiveness of self, or maybe there's forgiveness you need to give another person or a situation in your past. Thank you, Jeremy, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. Now, it doesn't mean that you forget. It doesn't mean you forget. It doesn't mean that, you know, it's all okay. Um, this is about healing. So, you know, forgiveness is going to bring through healing for you ultimately. So see how the, that resonates for you. Let's take a look here at this deck and we'll receive a message from this, from this card here. This one here. Smoky Quartz, clearing negativity. There is a negative energy around you or within you that needs to be cleared. Releasing negativity from within or around you is key this week. It is key. So this may mean detoxing. This may mean clearing your space, saging, spiritually uh, cleansing, prayers. Um, this might be removing yourself from a toxic relationship situation or communication. Anything that's negative here that's been around you for some time, it's, it has to go. It has to go. So we have turquoise, spiritual path. Now I do feel that someone is discovering their spiritual path at the moment. Your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. So some big life changes may be taking place because you are, you know, you know what is right for you and what your spiritual path is now. So this is a big one. That's a big energy. A big life change is probably going to come because that energy is now working in your life and through you. Okay, these two cards want to come out. So let's see what they are. We have the chariot, which is Cancer's card. So you may have a Cancer in your life, perhaps. And it says here, charge ahead with confidence and stay strong and focused. So it's about taking the reins. We've got the horses here. You take the reins, you stay strong and focused and you lead the way. You know where you're going, you know what you want and you're going to go and get that. You know, it's also connected to manifesting miracles as well. So somehow these energies are connected for you. We have the lion. So you may have a Leo in your life, perhaps. Harness the loyalty and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently so we also have charging ahead with both of these cards so there's a green light there is a door opening for you there is a key that you hold which will unlock the door to success you are truly blessed this week so have the courage of the lion here and go for it guidance for aquarius please spirit
these two cards here. The whale shark manifest your dreams now. So yes, we have manifesting miracles and manifest your dreams. There is definitely an energy of manifestation around you. Spirit is helping you with this because of the miracle energy surrounding it. So your dreams will come true. There's a vision that you have held or will hold. Maybe it's just for this week. Spirit hears your prayers or your intentions and what you're wanting to manifest and it will come to pass. It is connected into clearing away negativity. The squirrel, declutter your mind, which also is, you know, about negativity and clearing away. So declutter your mind and store only that which serves you. So um, you're keeping ideas, beliefs. Um, there are certain things, patterns that you're holding that you no longer need to hold. They are not serving you. Maybe something from your past you're holding on to. It is time to get rid of this energy. It's time to start fresh. It's connected into your spiritual path somehow, okay? So your spiritual path is connected into decluttering. Maybe you're needing to declutter your mind. Maybe your thoughts are running rampant. Maybe you're needing to calm the mind. Maybe meditation will help with that. But there's something going on. Your true beliefs, that's important. Your true beliefs are going to become clearer when you declutter your mind, your mental space and only store that which serves you mentally and emotionally. Guidance for Aquarius. Let's see what we have here with this deck. The King of Wands is about leadership. As you can see here, the keyword here is leadership. So this is so important for you this week to step up and take a leadership role in some way. This will be natural for you. This is not going to be a problem. You will step up. Someone needs help. You have advice. You're going to step up and you're going to wear the crown in a situation. So stay open to this energy. Know that it's coming in. A leadership energy is there for you. There's going to be recognition for you as, as well. This could be to do with your work, perhaps maybe leadership in work or your business. And there's recognition here as well. So there's definitely an energy of recognition, leadership. These go hand in hand. It's going to be work well done, something that you've put your time and energy and effort toward. You're going to be recognized. There will be success and victory, a reward of some kind. It is connected into clearing away negativity, I feel. So clearing away negativity within, from around you. Um, it will be recognized within yourself and from others that um, things are different now. There is going to be a choice or a decision made with judgment. You're making a judgment call here. And the angel of the past. So you have learnt from your mistakes. You have learnt from past experiences. And uh, you're making a call for your future to move forward in a better way. And someone from your past may reach out to you as well. We have an announcement, news information or someone contacting you. The tower energy is about destruction and with that destruction of old ways and patterns. And that has been a theme throughout the reading Aquarius where you are breaking down things that no longer serve you, moving away from something that is holding you back. And it's moving you toward enlightenment, a better situation, more in alignment with your true self and your spiritual path. So whatever this shock is, destruction is, difficulty, challenge to overcome, um, Things might not go to plan this week. That's okay. You're going to be okay because this ultimately is going to lead you to a better situation. So having faith and trusting spirit, if that happens this week, is so important. We have healing, so mental healing, because we have the swords here, which signifies the mental space. It might also represent emotional healing for you as well. But healing, physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual is uh, is there if you need it. It may also be 
Um, it may also be your profession or maybe your training to be a healer in some way. So see how healing resonates for you this week specifically. Maybe it's healing from a loss. These two cards definitely can go together here. So you've had a loss and there's healing associated with that that's coming through. This loss may be represented by this tower, this destruction. You're falling out of the tower. Um, you're kind of crashing to it down. Um, you know, there's pain, loss associated to this disappointment or whatever this situation has been. Know that there is healing here and there's going to be a clearing away, which is ultimately what the tower is. Um, of an old situation to make way for something that is more right for you and in alignment for you. So let's take a look at the pendulum now. If you have a question you'd like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you are welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So check in with your heart, with your intuition, see how this resonates for you. It's okay if it resonates, it's okay if it doesn't. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Have a fantastic week ahead. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.